the hustlers out there as well. These two flies are fighting in there. Yeah, they're doing Fucking a lot hell, in blood. Here, man. It's like there's two brothers in there trying to say, Why is man talking so much? <laughs> Fly, flying into man's areas and that. Yeah. Hopped in there out of nowhere. There's no there's no window open and it just hopped in there. One over there now just sitting there listening. Joker. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, bro. Well, these guys talk about is girls and cash these times. They ain't even got none. It ain't hard to see when I step in the dance. Should the party's lit and it gets done? Turn up the music and we jump in. All the people around just jump in. Turn up the music and we jump in. All the people around just jump in. Bounce some vibe. Get the drink and we dance all night. Vibe and bounce. Get the drink and the girl in the couch. Bounce some vibe. Get the drink and we dance all night. Vibe and bounce, get the drink and the girl in the couch. Yes, yes, yes. I, right. I mean, I don't think you need too much of an introduction, bro. But please let the people know who you are and where you're coming from. <laughs> it's your boy LV General. Lump it, slump it. My brothers don't eat crumpets. And obviously, man's from South, innit? Lucian, done yes. already. Blue Borough. Lump it, slump it. They know anyway. LV blocks. We're here. we're inside. Don't worry. Obviously, I've had a bit of the. The reggae or ragga, ragga. whatever you want, to call it. <laughs> reggae ragga. You get me tonic wine thing. This is mad though. The the cherry flavor's a bit peak still, but I'm happy it's this one and not the grape. Car had the grape in it. Yeah, yeah. twisted man still. <laughs> sick, sick. How would you how would you describe Lucian? Where not there? Lucian. Oh, uh, Lucian's. Wait, Lucian now is I would say is posh, but back in the day when I grew up in Lucian, I'm talking that like, we're talking that. Like, 20 years ago from now, it weren't a nice place. Still, obviously, everyone knows about Lucian McDee's. You get me, Lucian Way, New Cross, Catford. Yeah, cut off their venture, you're straight into Peckham. Everyone knows, obviously, Lucian was those days, innit? But, yeah, man, I think Lucian, for me, it was a good good upbringing. Mm. Okay, okay. For what I've learnt now and to who I am today, you get me? Like, I've learnt a lot from my ends. Sick, sick, sick. How would you describe yourself in one word, bro? Um, passionate. Mm. Mm. Very. Passionate. Yeah, because I come across some people think that I'm angry all the time or not, and I'm not. Like it's not an angry thing. I'm just a passionate guy in it. So everything what comes across is it's from the heart in it. So you see it. Six, six, six. How would you say your friends and family describe you? Um, a joker. <laughs> like, <laughs> like always running joke, always laughing, always happy, bubbly. You get me character. Always up for a laugh. Always want to play games. You know, like mm. just. I'm the, I'm the youngest out of seven, so... Out of seven? I, yeah, I've got three brothers, three sisters. And you're the, you're the youngest? Yes. How was that, bro? Yeah. How is it, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do you know what? It, it ain't the best. No, don't don't think... Nah, 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 nah. I've all made this sound all nice. <laughs> no. Don't ever think it was the best, bro. You're mad. You see me when I was a kid? <laughs> I'm getting told to go and do the steps, do the washing, do the freaking the dishes out in the garden. Oh, they just sent you the, out? And I was a senner. Oh. Yeah? But it was only because I was bad breed. I was a senner because I was bad breed. I was always get had a little temper on me and I'd get hyped up and I'm all moving mad. Do you get me? I used to pump up myself. I don't know what I was on, but I was that kid there. I got told off, I'll get upset and then, <laughs> and it's just all anger coming out of man and shit. But yeah, I wasn't getting love like that. It was it was love. Obviously, I got love. Obviously, my brother's sisters had man, but. Yes, I was that kid who always, you know, wanted to take it a step further and do a little, you know, get away with this or get try to get away with that. And yeah, they used to love lock me in the cellar. There was always... Uh, you got the Harry Potter Yeah, treatment. like, oh, oh, bro, I will sound bad, in it? But it's not even like that. It's they, they, I love them to bits, bro. But I, 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 even the lessons that I went through, just learning how to grow up as a, as a, the youngest in the whole family, that was good. Do you get me when I deep mm. it? But bro, the, the discipline side, Different world. Man run up my mouth. Yeah, yeah, we're grabbing. Ah, ah, ah. Drag man downstairs. Ah, ah. He's coming like a horror film fam. But I used to watch a film called Chucky, a little doll, yeah? And they knew that scared the hell out of me. My mum one day went to America and come back with a good guy doll. That's what they were. So she come back and it was on the step. And me being me at that age, I was like, what, about seven, eight? I was terrified, but I'm watching this Chucky show. And I'm like, why am I watching something? What's scaring me like this? But I was just adapted to watching mm. the thing. But she bought the doll thing and I loved it. <sighs> come on, blood. I've seen the doll on the step. I'll never forget this day. I saw it as I've come out and I thought I saw a ghost or I froze and just started crying. I wet myself, everything, bawling. Ah, she didn't even know what was going on. My mum was in shock. She thought I saw a ghost to find out that I was scared of the doll thing all along. Yeah. 
Bro, that. I know she yeah. were rating it as well. Fam? Huh? I know she were rating it because it's a doll as well. Uh, what was she thinking? Does she know? Does she know about the film? Like, no, she, of course she did. She, my mum used to watch it with everyone else. Oh, so but I was just in the room watching it, but shook. But <sighs> they knew. My brother's sisters knew I was born, but I never told mum I was. I was like, act like I wasn't scared. So when I used to go to bed, I'm on the step still. We had a big house, that mm. very Victorian house. So there's seven bedrooms. It's a big garden, big cellar, downstairs. You've got to go down. And I was always the one to put the electric on. All the electric was downstairs. So you've got to go all the way down the stairs to the cellar, down the steps, into the dark and put the electric on. And I used to always do it with, with ease. Everyone else did like going in that cellar. I did because obviously I was getting locked in the cellar at fair time. <laughs> so, I'm so, so I'm now used to being in that cellar. You get me, bro? So... Yeah, fam. Like, but all the memories in that house, yeah, like, yeah, I'll never forget that. I won't take anything back either. I, I enjoyed knowing that, you know, I can get with my family in that type of way and, you know, we're still blessed. Mm. So, yeah, man. Mm. Nah, it's beautiful. I mean, this is mad, but, like, yeah, the, but the it's, it's, yeah, you get me? There's, yeah, there's, there's, yeah. It's a madness, but it's, it's still nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, how many children do you have now, then? Um, I've got two. 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 Yeah. Do you reckon your family will get as big as that? Um, to be honest, life's changed. It's like in in this world anyway, isn't it? Like everyone, everything's changed. It's not how it used to be ten years ago. Um, so personally, just because how things are going, I probably would have just said one more would be enough, and then that's me, bro. Unless man win the lottery or I become some billionaire, and yeah, then I can actually put money into having time for children mm. because I don't want to waste. You know, extra time trying to go through stress and all them other... It's a lot, do you know what I mean? Looking after two kids as it is, but having three, four, five... It, I, can't, I can't imagine how it is for the parents out there doing that, but, yeah, man, big them up. But, yeah, for me, how do, how this world set up right now, no, I, w- I wouldn't put on my list of, you know, goals to have mm. any kids for now, so I don't know. But it sounds like, like you said, if you win the lottery, if you become a billionaire. <laughs> so it sounds like family is an important thing to you. Yeah, of How course. How important would you say that is? Yeah, like... that's at the top of my list. Mm. My family will always be important to me. My kids, my family, everyone I love, my loved ones, my close ones, my friends. Yeah, it's all important to me. So, yeah. Mm. What would you say is another, I guess, great love of yours? What, as in like, a hobby or what's yeah. like, my interest? Yeah. Um, football. Mm. I love football, bro. <laughs> football, football wasn't even my first sport. Funny enough, it was rugby. I swear yeah, down. You know, you're built a little rugby, bit rugby. like a... Yeah, do you know what? I had no neck when I was in school. <laughs> like, my enemies thought I was a ringer because the rug, that blood, it makes your body like... It's, you have that hunch in you. I don't know why it does that. Look at certain rugby players. They they have that build. But yeah, that was me, bro. I was I started rugby when I was about 11. I loved it. Did it for like two, three years. And then when I started secondary school, everyone was kicking ball. But I was still doing a little bit of rugby. But ball started to become a more of a fun factor for me. It was like, yeah, I'd rather play football than rugby because that's what happened. When I was at a game, was at a tournament, that's when I knew out. The ball got booted to the back. I grabbed it. I can't remember if I was a fullback or something or wing. I don't know, fullback or wing back. Something I can't remember what they call it. Grabbed the ball anyway, ducked them out because I had quite a good pace and I was strong at that build. Ducked one brother out and he's held on to me and man's still running and I'm pulling him and he's pulled me by my balls, bro. <laughs> Like, literally tearing me down, like, ah, hurting me. After that day, I had a madness, obviously. It kicked off, whatever. Had a madness, had to come off the pitch. The other guy got separated as well, whatever. And then from that day there, but I just realised, like, nah, this ain't me, bro. Like, rugby's not my thing again. Like, man tried to, dif- like, differently, man tried to hurt man blood. I, said, I know what was going on there, you get me? Mad guy as well, like, Irish-looking done, had dots on his face and I don't know. But yeah, fam, moving mad. Then afterwards, obviously, when I started secondary school and I was just more growing up and being a more of a teenager, I realised that football was the thing. I started to enjoy it more. And I, and I supported Arsenal anyway, because my brothers did. So, like, I just thought, you know what, let me go with that. Um, and then, yeah, just started kicking ball a bit more often. I was cause I was just quick and strong. Never had a strike on me. Um, and then, yeah, like, as the years got on, I got better. And then, yeah, I just had a love for football, bro. And then started playing ball for, for a certain few teams, Moonshot. Went down to Falcons, played for some other team, did a little bit of football with West Ham and that, and yeah, that was it, bro. Like, came back to the real world, innit? Like, just got on with life. Obviously, had, had a girlfriend, young, had kids, 21, and then, yeah, the, everything else was just different for me. Mm. My life changed, so. But I've always loved football. Football's been my, yeah, that's my interest, though. If I could ever 
go on the into the Emirates and play a match of five, of millions of, of thousands of people and show what I had back then now or something, Brad, I would I would do that. If I could, if there was ever <laughs> a, ever a day like I'm trying to put into existence, I can't lie. I'm trying to manifest it right now. If anyhow I can go on that pitch and play in front of thousands of of people and even some footballers there, like a couple, you get me, seniors, just to show what I'm made of up front. Just that one time, that that'll, that'll be a blessing in disguise. That'll be one of my, you know, top goals. You get me? If that ever could happen. Obviously, I don't think it would, but, you know, we, we, we try to believe. Now put in the air, bro. Put in the air. It's there now. <laughs> <laughs> now that you get me, was, God, that's one too. thing now. Like, you know when you just want to get on that pitch, like, I always think about it. Like, even the Man United um, fans. They sit there and think one day if I can go Old Trafford, they we all say it. We wish one day we could go on the pitch and do a Mazza and score a screamer. I don't know, do something. And man's just like, bro, who's that guy? Just that one little because that's how much man's that's how much love man's got for football. Yeah, bro, that's how gas time. If I can get a one day, a one ever day that could happen for me, yeah, that would make my day still. Six, 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 six. You know what? I've got the average for you now as well, bro. Come on. Um. <laughs> Another thing, obviously, that and I've been kicking it quite a bit recently is the music. Oh. So what first got you into music or who inspired you to make music? I was doing music a very, very, very long time ago for entertainment anyway. My mum's a musician, isn't it? So big up Mumsy, Christine J. White. Yeah, that's her name if you want to check her out or see what I go on. But yeah, she's a soul singer, so she's a bit into the, like, rockers, um, love rockers, lovers rock, something like that. I'm not sure if you heard of it. Yeah. Lovers rock, but it's like a a big like old school singers, but they all come together as one, some called Lovers Rock thing or something. But my mum would know anyway, but I forgot, sorry. But yeah, she's on all that stuff and old school singer, big time singer. Um, and then yeah, like me growing up in the house, my sister sing, my brothers don't, but they were into music. It was a very music home. So obviously me being young, I was into grime. That was that I used to listen to a bit of garage, but not really, but I was more of a grime head. And in my time in school time, grime was popping. You get me? So all the freaking Eskimos down to um, practice hours. Like there's bare other thing. I can go back in time if I have to. You get me? Stuff will happen on the roof. What the man them only know. You get me? There's certain things. So yeah, blood. Like, bro, like I loved grime, innit? So that was straight away my first go-to music before rapping and all that. Like I liked grime music. So yeah, bro. And then just started doing music properly. Like not properly, but just now and then chilling with... Um, as years got on, I was chilling with like the OGs, Blacks P and all them man, and started to chill with other crowds of people like Gully Ranger and all these other people, Jammer now, and there's other lot of faces I was just in and around, but mm. I weren't really doing nothing. I was just that guy who's there, but everyone else around me had it. Do you understand? So as the time gone on, I just thought, you know what, let me tap into it. And then I thought I'd just drop a little tune. The first thing was um, LVG, not Louis Van Gaal. I dropped that there on SBTV, big up Jamal Edwards. You get me, rest in peace, my brother. Um, and yeah, he was the first one to put my, my tune out there on his on his platform. Then everyone started realising I did a bit of music. Well, I was taking it a bit, that took a step into it sort of thing. Done that. And then I came back with a dancehall tune into the party. I don't know, I just, my vibe changes. I'm not just, I didn't want to stay stuck on agenda. What I know, I want to try something different. And I knew that I can do the, the whole Yardy side of things because it's in my culture. I'm Jamaican, so I just thought, let me go for it. You get me? And I just, boom, done a little into the party. That did big. That did all right. Um, I'm, I've got a remix coming soon still, just so you don't know, to that, that same rhythm. Um, some bad boy artists as well. Um, yeah, so um, after that now, I've decided to take time out, got into entertainment, did that a bit more than the music, obviously, because everyone just knows me for entertainment. Um, and then, yeah, I dropped a track the other day with um, Sharky, Rips and uh, Big Nasty, um, Baddest, one chin called Baddest. It's, done, it's doing well still, it's still going around and all the radio channels have been playing it and that, so that's doing all right. Um, and yeah, bro, I've literally now, music-wise, I've got some some big big people hitting me up talking about they want me on the, want me to jump on the track as a feature, so... I can't say names just yet because they, they've told me not to mention that. But yeah, there is some music on his way for you like, still. And yeah, man, I hope he's not like it. You get me? Obviously, man, man know what to do in it because I've been in it. But you obviously must think it's new to me. It's not. 
it's just something I'm still learning because I'm not familiar with it because I wasn't in it like that, but I'm I'm around it all. So it's just how I take it on board and how I make it my own. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just juggling everything around me and mm. this is it. I'm just making sure that I, I, I put the, the right things in the right pockets. So Sick. yeah. Sick, sick, sick. Exciting as well, to be fair. Yeah, it right? is, you know. It sounds like, you know, for real, it for is. real, for real. Some great names there as well, just people have, like you've been around and collaborated with. Mm-hmm. Have you got, for you personally, and this doesn't have to be people you know personally, mm-hmm. but just your personal top five at the moment? What, in the game? Just in music, yeah. In music? Um, okay, obviously, j Huss. That's, that's up there. He has to be, Brad. Um, Dave as well. So next one. Um... Top five. Dave, J Huss. Who else? There's bare man, but it's just like, who am I going to put in that position, though? Mm. Do you get it? That's a techie one. Yeah, it is, this because is... Like, now I'm just questioning, like... Obviously, what I say is my own opinion, yep. so everyone else has got their own, their own say. But you see me, I listen to a lot of DWE as well. I'll put him up there as well as someone I... These are the people I listen to in it, so... Um, DWE, who else? I do listen to, but I listen to a variety as well, you know, I'm being biased. I'm all gonna say certain names and now I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, you never said my man from the ends, what's wrong with man? Then, rah, 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 rah. you get me? I listen to all the man, them, don't get it twisted. <laughs> but it's the specifics who man listen to because them man there are just legendary, you get me? So that's how it goes sometimes. Um, See, I'm, I'm biased because I will say Skepta and I will say Gets and I will say P-Money. I will say these people because they're in the same category to me. Do you get me? They're still doing the things what I want to see. You get me? But then how can I leave out other people who's in the game as well? That's what I'm... You're, you're, you're confusing me. Yeah, this is what you lot have done. You've let a put my head confused. <laughs> you lot tried to dub my team. They tried to say, yeah, you're dub him out. Who's the best five then? Now I'm stuck, yeah? I don't know. They have to put a big question mark on the last three people. Because mm. right now, well, two, sorry, you should say. Because it's, uh, it's a, yeah. I've mentioned, but we don't know what order to throw these lot in. So it, take it how you want, take it. DWE, J Hus, Dave, Skepta, Gets, P Money, whoever you want, put in there. Giggs is in there as well. Look, he's doing tick like, see? It's all getting silly. It's all getting silly. <laughs> It's all getting silly. I can't. I can't do it. too much no, questions no, no, now. No, 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 I'm no, done that. Yeah. I can't say no more. I'm finished. It's the, blame the ragger. Yeah? That. This ragger taunting. Blame that. <laughs> oh.